Hello everyone, my name is the Ammonite, or Emma for short. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to The Bridge Curse 2. Um, this is part 2. Um, if you haven't seen the first part, I highly recommend go watching that. Even though it did absolutely terrible. Um, I was looking at like the average view duration, and the average view duration was like... 0 0.015 seconds, and I rewatched 0 0.15 seconds, and that was it just made going, ooh, like happy, and I guess like people just don't want to, see, <laughs> just don't want to see me happy. Or maybe maybe they just like clicked on it accidentally. Who knows? No judgment. Um, yeah, let's see if we can play the surveillance camera footage. Mm, that would be back in the room downstairs, wouldn't it? I was debating whether to play Scroll of a Gun or um, okay, I guess not. Oh wait, why am I, what am I doing? I can literally just like, look, um, on the map, dumbass. And yeah, she said the screenplay room, so go back to the screenplay room. I was debating whether to play, um, between, I'm trying to think what game, screw over gun, um, Cause that that done exceptionally well for like five days, eighty eight views is crazy for me. Um, okay, so apparently I'm still exploring this area. Um, so that'll be this room, right? Yep. Yeah. But yeah, I will be bring scroll for gun will be the next video, so don't worry about that. I I will keep my promise to record that. Um, let's see what's on the top here. Oh yeah, that's the girl at the start, isn't it? Okay, sorry, I I wasn't con I wasn't conscious in there. I was sending a friend request um, on Discord. Don't ask me for Discord. I won't give it. <laughs> or maybe I will. Maybe I will start a Discord someday, um, if I get more viewers. So that's the lamp from the screenshots. I'm pretty sure because I remember seeing like a lamp, and not just that, it was in the intro. Like I was like saying, um, the lamp. <sighs> It helps you find ghosts. Why are we crouched? No, wait. Oh right, I, I was actually crouched. And weird. Did I press that? I felt like me crouched down, like up to the computer. I don't know if I was. I felt like I was actually crouching because I. How do I explain it? Check out the oil lamp. Oh, right, in the actual, like, elevator. It got real silent hill in here, didn't it? Um. Yeah, what I was trying to say was, like, I thought, like, me crouching down in the cutscene actually caused my character to crouch. Um. That's not good. 
That's oh shit. James Sunderland, you in there? Okay. That 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 joke won't make any sense to people who haven't seen the SFM of um the new Silent Hill 2 remake. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Um It's literally just like James Sunderland like having a good time with Pyramid Head and the nurses. It's it's so good. So um what's with the black uh, smoke? Also did I get like transported into a new like um new dimension? I don't know what you want me to do. Alright, that's the pillars, right. Puzzles. Oh, right, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. So go to the actual, like, the, the, the thing and, like, solve the puzzle that was underneath earlier and the oil lanterns in one of these. Yes. Sorry if I, like, absolutely blew out someone's headphones if you're listening to this on headphones. Oh, no. Oh no, I do not like these. Okay, but all seriousness, I fucking hate these so much. Um, this could take for friggin' forever. I'm, I apologize. Um, I'll probably like cut this out so you guys don't have to like sit and watch me figure this one out. So I'll be back once I've figured it out. Okay, that was pretty easy. Like, um, I didn't even have to look that up. I'm quite proud of myself. <laughs> Who cares? Honestly, you just seen like a massive like glimpse go off it. So why would you care that it can't be turned on? Just accept that this crazy lantern is something that's required. Just, just turn the volume up just a tiny bit. I take it he had something to do with that girl's death. The lantern. I wonder if I can find anything else. Press and hold to explore, follow the clues to find objects of interest. Anything like that, a certain, at the center of a certain object, and hold it there to reveal possible hidden items and images. Ooh, proper investigation, mystery updated. Oh, shit. It goes all the way to the elevator. So I will try and get as like much as I can done. 
the hell happened here? Like, I'll try and get as many areas as I explored, because I want to, like, show off quite a bit of this game. I... Am I able to go through there now? Sorry about that. Um, the headphone, like, my controller cut out, so... I was not expecting that. Hopefully, like, all these icons that are on my screen face right now are gone. And they're back. The trigrams again. They were on top of the display case, too. God damn it, stop. Nothing. She's so chill about this. I don't. It's midnight. And you know what he said about midnight. name are you still doing here? What's your name? Wong Ting Ting. Help. Please hurry. There, there's a ghost out there. She wants to eat me. B blood. There's blood everywhere. Is that a mimic? I'm gonna die. She's going to kill me. Her neck is broken. So she a mimic, and that's she's mimicking my voice. Ooh. Are, are you okay? She got a fly head. Stop! 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 Don't touch her! No! 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 Do not touch her! Holy shit. When the symbols on the anime lantern fully light up, it will protect the carrier from one evil ghost attack. After that, it's enemy means she must be fully recharged to receive another. What? Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh, I'm just gonna follow the... Do not touch me, do not, do not even fucking touch me, lady. Oh! Okay. So I've obviously got to like... Keep coming back to this. Oh shit. Okay. I forgot how to play. Um, as you can tell, it's a new day. I have been informed by my partner that um, t 
to actually... I need to make sure this is actually on. Yeah, as I'm saying, I've been informed by my partner that she can't actually see you. Um, depending on where her neck... What are you doing? Catch a crawl. Yeah, according to my partner, she can only see backwards. Um, I'm gonna test that theory. Yeah, she can only see backwards. Go. <clears throat> Okay, we're fine, I think. <laughs> Should I run for it? Let's go for it. Oh shit, I didn't... She must hear the rumblings of the lantern. Come on, stick it, stick it, stick it. We're fine. We are not. Oh! You know what? Stick it, stick it, stick it, stick it. Go for it. Keep it going. Sorry, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm assuming that... I'm assuming that the, the woman at the start of the game that I was like, is that a glitch or is that not a glitch? Um, that is probably um, her, I'm willing to bet. Okay, unknown space. Oh. Um, what? This other guy. Richie Chen Jr. studying fiance. In 1960, a murder occurred on, I'm assuming it's just gonna say the university campus and the victim was none other than the school founder's daughter. The perpetrator was the architect who designed the Darren building. This incident came to be known as the 1960 Darren murder. And now a group of students from the film club are adapting this to place of history, piece of school history in a horror movie. That's kind of disrespectful, but I guess they don't care. Are we really gonna shoot this thing? This is serious shit. Oh, I thought that was someone yeah, eating something. Screw this stupid movie. Then we don't have to worry about these goddamn ghosts. Hey, oh. big shot director. What about your crazy, super viral, dope ass film? Now we're not even gonna shoot it? Oh. <sighs> Definitely not director material. Maybe you just do the marketing, Rich. Aw, but in America. Look, Ugh, whatever. What you watching? I just, I mean, it's nothing. Oh, someone's a little scaredy cat. Why the hell would you agree to shoot a horror film? Yo, nah. You know how long I was in the States? We don't believe that shit like you guys. I'm worried about Doc. That's... 
I mean, look how freaked out he got after seeing those ghost hands. I was like, fucking hell yeah! <laughs> I remember him. Dude, how cool was that? So glad the gods told me to join you guys. Gods? What the hell are you talking about? Sweet ass mustache, by the way. dreamed about joining the club or whatever. So... Did the dream, like, tell you if we were going to finish the film? Uh... Let me ask my mustache. Okay, so it's not just that it'd be like... Who knows, tots? Well, dickhead, are we doing this or not? How long have we been working on this thing? Uh... Hmm. Hmm. Let's... Let's do it! That viral trailer. With that interview. Cha-ching! Huh? huh? Interview? Interview? Did some part-time gig. Chill, chill. It was free. Got an interview out of it. That anchor from the news. The luscious Sulian. Oh. Nice, eh? Oh? <laughs> <laughs> She's so hot, dude. <coughs> If we're gonna do this, we need to do it right. This thing needs to be perfect. Got it? Mm-hmm. Okay, so we've got about two weeks until the first screening. We've got to shoot, edit, and do post-production. I'm assuming that the only four characters that we're gonna play as, and Mr. I've already Director, picked my favorites. Sir? Okay. I'm gonna make the diagram. Once I'm done, we'll start the meeting. Where's the positioning diagram? And the figurines? I think one's in the storage room. And the school newsletter took another for an interview. Got it, thanks. Okay, so yeah, like I was trying to say, my favorite character so far is him. I, I was like, I was thinking to myself, why is he like, is he mustache like... Okay, proposal for the Hex Building, written by Richie Chen. Director, Senior Department of Finance, Richie Chen, screenwriter, producer. Junior Department of Design A High Editor. Okay. Let's just say what they are. Go for the Carnival of Horrors. The film club will be a film adaptation of when. Okay, we already know that. Five plus students. Fundraising, but the risk's too high. Cost is covered. True, true, true. I know I just like summed that up, but it was like it was pretty much like already retelling what we already what we already know. Okay, so this is the. This is probably important. Screenplay for the hex building. The positioning diagram has been created to facilitate the movement of characters and verify that each scene converts to the descriptive and desired atmosphere. Scene 1. First meeting of Zhu Yu Yai. Zhu Yu Yai comes to pour tea for her father. She is, she is unaware that her father is in a rage and expected a counter with a potential suitor that he has chosen for her. Yan Su Wen is so shocked by Zhu Yu's size beauty that he doesn't even notice when Okay, I'm gonna like just like someone up as a dad, the guy, and us, her, because I don't want to read these names because I, I don't I I know I'm gonna mess them up. So her dad, her dad, enthusiastically offers him a gift. The guy is instantly convinced that she is the white rose of his dreams. Seen to the good wife, she who lost her mother. She that sounds so weird. Yeah, just. To like sum it up, I'm like when I'm saying well, I'm pretty sure you know what I mean, so I'm not gonna go and explain it because that'll be like a ten seconds explaining. She who lost her mother at a young age was sent to a bridal academy in nineteen fifty five by her daughter. There she learned sewing, ikebana, cooking, and all the other skills necessary to become a good wife and mother. She firmly believes that soon after her graduation she'd become an ideal bride just as her father had planned. Scene free, beauty and the beast. Pampered from a young age, she continued to live in a comfortable little bubble after graduation, hoping to meet the perfect husband. However, the guy and her soon cross paths with a naive girl, using his work to get close to her and plotting something behind the scenes. Is that their character models, by the way? Yeah. They really just took the character models and been like, yeah, let's put them in. <clears throat> Seriously though, top character. Like I was wondering, why has he got a sweet ass mustache? That's a very, that's a bit weird to have in, randomly. Okay, so that's probably just like what's gonna happen in the screen. Yo, director, go get that positioning diagram ready. Looks pretty damn good, right? <laughs> oh. 
Okay, so we need to go to the school. We'll go to the schools near you let us first. I'm glad they've actually implemented something for his mustache. Like, that's pretty cool. Like, I was like, it's a bit weird having a random guy with a mustache. So, so good. I don't know. I, I was like obsessed with them types of tashes as a kid. Always wanted one. You don't have this figurine. Then why? Sorry, a news report from the time of the 1960 Darwin murders kept under wraps by the school newsletter and its, and its administrators for a period of time. It was completely banned from circulation. Murder at when he or I. I'm just going to say that name just so it makes more sense. Z U Yai, the daughter of the school's founder, is dead. Extra Pred Architect Yan Shou Wen, missing after murder. A recent love fueled murder on Wen Hu University campus has left everyone in shock. The architect responsible for the design of the new Darwin building is suspected of having a lover's quarrel with the school founder's daughter in the parking garage, whereupon he murdered her with a shovel and then fled. His whereabouts are currently unknown. The police are actively investigating and pursuing the suspect. According to official sources, another individual is also found dead on the scene. What if the guy with the shovel was her? What's well, no sorry, what if the guy with the shovel was the police officer? Hmm. Sorry, am I just like running to one area? I mean, I guess there's only one way to find out. I mean, it's saying, oh, you can't, like, pick up any of the di- I'm confused. It's like, complete the diagram. So I went to go click, pick up the diagram, and it's like, the diagram is incomplete. So unless, of course, I'm meant to take these. Oh. I didn't read that. I should have read that. Okay, so it's probably just like, I think it's like a paper mache of, um... The girl that got murdered. <clears throat> so that's probably. You know, I have this figurine. Do you want me to actually go grab her? So that was crazy though, the fact that like she looked like that. I was gonna say she kinda looked like the the one with the really long hair in the first game. Um Okay, film room club key. But I don't think she did necessarily. <coughs> I mean, am I trying to say this is a prequel? Who knows? Maybe it's a prequel, maybe it's not. The Felons Club's proposal centers around when who university ghost stories. After much discussion among the club members, we settled on a final adaptation of the 1960 Darwin murders proposal. One, the mad ballerina. My partner actually mentioned her, um, asking if I got up to her yet, so that's going to be a thing. Legend has it that a major accident once occurred during the end of semester performance held by the dance department. Apparently a female student's eyes were pierced by a sharp object on the floor. What the fuck? She was blind on the spot and taken to the hospital the next day. She was found on the stage where she had hung herself. Occasionally students could have seen the ghost of a young woman practice in the dance studio. They say if you disturb her practice, she will kill you. Additional notes, too difficult, can't find a ballerina who is willing to participate. What if she's blind? Like, as the enemy... Okay, so I'm gonna assume that's where she goes, and then okay. So yeah, it's just probably the same stuff. Like it's positioned in a cardboard way. A text detailing a restroom-related ghost story on campus. It's popular a book among when who students. Rumor has it in the woman's restroom, one of the floors of the Darren building, the sound of running water can occasionally be heard even when no one is sight. 
did I hear running water in one of the rooms when I went in? Or am I thinking of like my last Fortnite video where it was constantly dripping? That might be my Fortnite video. One day a girl who was studying in a room nearby was so frustrated by the destruction that she burst into the restroom. She immediately discovered that none of the fossils were running. Turn a look at the skulls. She just gasped in horror. And she thought she saw four dangling transparent dog paws swaying back and forth between one of the doors. So that's um Professor then. I'm pretty much I used to verify. Yeah, it's the same stuff, so one of the main actors. Okay, so now I'm guessing I just have to like play out the scene. Um So it'll be her there. He gives her the gift. And the guy's got the rose. Ooh, can't wait till you see the little surprise I've prepared. <laughs> When Doc was making the diagram, he was laughing like a maniac. I'll take it you're Doc. What if the guy's making tea, she's got the present, and then he's got the rose? No. Why, why not just read the dam? Right, so these are obviously like all law related stuff, but I'm not going to read them. Zuyu comes to pour tea for her father, she does. She's unaware that her father's arranged an expert to come out. Okay, forget that one. Oh, wait, no, don't actually forget that one. So, yeah, she's pouring tea. The... The guy should... Then again, unless I the father's giving her the flower, and then... Oh, wait, no, that'll be the dad. Well, that would be so, so weird. first, camera will be here, facing the desk. Oh, shit, he's got a dagger. The chair, and a high will be over there, pouring tea. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is to show Yo Yu's respect and admiration for her father. And then Wen Xiong is extremely satisfied with his daughter's manners and obedience. Yep. Okay, that's when I walk in. The first shot will be of my watch. Then the camera moves upward, giving us our first look at Shu Yu Yi's face. You got that. It's perverted gaze masking itself in twisted sophistication. <laughs> I've got chills just thinking about it. Hold up. Does Yu Yi know what's going on at this point? Mm, no. Ah. Yu Yi's been coddled to death. She's one of those chicks whose father sent to an all-girls school when she was little. And even if she realizes he's a psycho, she can't do anything about it. Ah. <sighs> And to think this stuff actually happened, it's terrible. Huh? Poor girl. Hey, hey, what are you looking for? Hmm? I was just thinking, if Yan Shuen really is some wizard from hell, maybe Yu Yi's soul is still trapped in this very building, watching us. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Some people say they've seen her spirit roaming the building at night. Sick! Oh, uh, wait. I, I mean, I don't think we should film here. We should let her rest in peace. Agreed. Killing her wasn't enough. That pervert had to keep her in his twisted web. Mm hmm. All right, look, is this scene settled or what? We're introducing Wen Xiong and Yu Yi. Yep, that's basically it. And then Yu Yi takes the teapot out. And Shu Wen makes up some excuse to fall. Huh? Uh. What? 
You see or hear something? Idiot. Heard some weird noise from over there. It was actually that way. Ugh. From my I'll office. Go and... if you're too scared. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I am so not scared. I'll check it out. <laughs> He's my fucking favorite character already. Let him go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, please don't die. I know. Spoilers for the first one. A lot of the characters did die. I would hate for him to die. <laughs> Just such a great character. Almost. But why? What if that's that girl from before? You want me to give up? Never. Oh shit. I hope she doesn't hurt herself. Should have brought a high. She's got the damn key. She's out the window. No, she's not. Oh man. I've got a feeling I know who this is, and I'm like... Okay, what's we'll up to say? She doesn't need me. I was gonna say, I'm willing to bet it's the ballerina. Just because she said, why didn't they pick me? Is that a ballerina doll as well? Okay, yeah. It makes sense considering she literally said, Why didn't they pick me? Li Yu Ping. Yo, <gasps> Director Dick, taking your pretty little time, hmm? What's that? <laughs> He's in the background I, just doing a Fortnite someone dance. Someone was crying in the storage room, then chucked this out the door. That's weird. There's only one set of keys. Where the hell did you go? Here, take this. Open the door and check it out. Hmm. What did um? What did he go? <laughs> you ain't gonna get her acting like this, huh? Just go for it, turd. Bye bye. Hello, are you okay? I I think you dropped this. I don't like you no well, more. She's. Gone? A long forgotten trophy for a ballet championship. It's unclear how Doug this out the box. 1989 Asia Pacific Pod Competition Champion Liu Yu Ping. Don't make noise, no eating or drinking, no outside is loud. You'll be fine if you're late. Remember to lock the door, you must abide by these rules. That's weird. Alright, alright, then let's get out of here. It's almost a a distinguished crown that represents the position of a lead dancer. Only a true outstanding dancer is qualified to wear this crown and lead the ballet troupe of ballet. A brilliant performance. Before she, like, skips into, like, some kind of cutscene, I'm willing to bet there's something behind that locker. We're running out of time. Oh, yeah, there is. Okay. A torn picture of two ballerinas. Only, only one ballerina can be seen in what remains of the picture. The name Li Yu Ping has been crossed out and replaced with Li Yu Yong. Hey, I ain't going yet. I'm like trying to get every collectible. Even though there's probably going to be a point where it's like, oh, you want this collectible? Well, you're going to have to like go like 50 miles to get it in this one room, if you know what I mean. So, like, say I'm like over here and there's a collectible like all the way over here, but the main exit's like all the way over here. If that makes sense. What's up? Let's go. What are you mumbling about? Probably did that to me. No doors or windows? She just disappeared. I'd stop thinking about it if I were you. Huh? Why? You don't know? My classmates said all sorts of creepy stuff happened in that classroom, so they turned it into a storage. Didn't you look into a ton of campus ghost stories for this? How'd you not know? I... 
And you're just a junior. I suck. Ha, <laughs> more like gullible. I'm kidding, Rich. Aren't you studying finance? Why do you care? You're seriously laughing right now? I guess it's not that scary, huh? It's whatever. But your face. Damn, that thing is... It's white. <laughs> I'd love oh, you to must... screw around with you idiots, but if we don't wrap this up before midnight, the main door's gonna close and we'll be stuck here uh, till morning. Uh, I could stay the night. Don't worry about the film. We got this. He, yeah, I think he loves that. I think that's... to leave that's... Ren by midnight, but will we? We ain't kids no more. We can do whatever the hell we want. Break the rules, skip class. Whatever. We're free. You guys okay? serious? Mm -hmm. Yo, we've been preparing for this for like forever. And your script is absolute fire. So we got this. The important thing is, is that we're here together <laughs> with, with Doc too, of course. <laughs> and we do this right. And that's why you spent all that cash to get this fancy equipment from the film club, huh? Uh, it's cool. It's from my dad's company. Won't cost a thing. Ooh, oh. Richie Rich. Why not just ask Daddy to do it? Come on. This is actually fun. Those professionals are a total buzzkill. This is what I'm talking about. Am Hell I right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a hard. This hot. is what college is all about. Boy! Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! yeah. 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 <laughs> Boys. Doc and I will set up the lights and furniture. Uh. Dummy, you go get the props. Yes, ma'am. I'll check to see if there's anything I need to set up. So yeah, looking at it now, like, I'm... Obviously, I was doing it before, but, like, it's definitely him doing, like, a heart. And that's why he was going, like, don't, don't, like, show her. Okay, so that's just reenacting out the scenario that we've already done. Gift box. A gift box that Zhu Wen Young has prepared for an important guest. The film club added a scene at the script, not a highlight. Oh, so that's like the actual like present. Um, compiled by Wu Xinnan, a disciple of the Taoist art, known in the Department of Veterinary Medicine as the Little Prince of Exorcism. It contains various me methods for exercising ghosts. For example, if you find your friend has been possessed, slap them with all your might to force out the yin energy, or if an incubus is haunting your sleep. Shout vile curses at it from the sea of energy located in the Daddy Mid Mirrodin. Price 50 bucks. That's definitely a scam. Hells yeah! <laughs> oh, I was actually meant to get you that. Details about the three main characters and the actors playing them, as well as production notes for the hex building. The female lead character, Zhu Yu Hai, actress A Hai, which is the girl that he likes. I am just confirming this for myself, not because like anyone in the who's watching this probably like knows who they are already, but still. Description: The school found his daughter and victim of the 1960 Darwin murders. Additional notes: A Hai has dyed blonde hair, so a short black wig will be needed for filming. Male lead. So I'm assuming I need to go get the wig. Male lead character Yao Yan Zhu Wen, actor Richie Chen, description architect of the Darren building of the culprit from the 1960 Red Murders. Additional to the custom make Yan Zhu Wen's pet jade pendant, Richie Chen has already found someone to make it. P.S. Richie Richie Rich rocks the cash bash, who's in Yan. I'm assuming. No. Interesting. But then again, I guess, I was going to say, wouldn't it make more sense if he wanted to be a dad in the play? But then again, it seems that he wants to obviously be like the person who falls in love with her, but he's also going to kill her. So I get, I, I see it in a, some weird way that he wants to play like the character that loves her, but ultimately he will be killing her in the end. So I don't know. <laughs> I'm assuming he loves her. Character Zhu Yu Wai, actor Wu Zin Nan. Description founder of Wenhu University and the father of Zhu Yu why? I hope I'm saying these right. Additional notes, we can use some of our budgets to purchase Zhu Wing Sang's retro glasses online since Wu Yuzan doesn't have hair. We need a wig for him too. Bless him. Any 
an exquisite team. I fucking love that word, exquisite. <laughs> I just had to just put that out there. That's a you and often uses to pour her father's tea. Apparently, this is her mother's favorite teapot while she was alive. This film club specifically found a teacup with a similar floral pattern. Sorry, messed that up. I'm supposed to have the flower. Oh. And okay. Take this too. What is that? J just take it. Is it not a symbol of like peace or like to protect you from spirits? Huh. Okay, thanks. I swear it was in the first game. That was a very crunchy now noise. In elegant white rose, the film's good research revealed that Yao and Shu Wen, one of the main characters of the film, would often give white roses okay, to the girl. Okay, let's get started. Hold up. Where's my clipboard? I'm gonna see a ghost in this, aren't I? And action. Alrighty, the hexed building. Scene one. First time that Yan Shu Wen meets Shu Yu Yi. Take one. Three, two, one, action. Yu Yi. You're early today. Yes, father. Take a look at this. The design really is quite impressive. Born into a good family and an upstanding young fellow. He's actually only four years older than you. <clears throat> oh. Mr. Yan, this is my daughter, Shu Yu Yi. <sighs> Shu Yu Yi. Oh shit, is the spirit. Is the spirit the possessing him? Well, wait. I... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Maybe Doc's acting was so good it freaked me out. Was that you? Hey, Rich. <laughs> Come here. So, when he said Zoo Yu Yi, it said in a creepy voice. Does that mean like the spirit There's of the guy that me. killed him? You weren't recording? The, I swear, I pressed record. That's weird. Let's just do it again. What if the spirit of I'm trying to explain it properly, like the guy that had All the right, shovel died, two. and the spirit. Three. You're going to say something in that. One. Action. Oh, you. You're early today. Yes, father. Take a look at this. The design really is quite impressive. <gasps> Born into a good family and an upstanding young fellow. I'm more like the bet he's still standing there in their reality. Doc? Where'd you go? Sorry if I'm like blabbering on a bunch of Jim Are you back? What the hell? No, no. That's some phasmophobia shit, that. Which I still have yet to play at some point. Fuck. Fuck. What the hell was that? And where am I? Hey, hi. Ooh. Doc. Where are you? Okay. I think I'm going to leave the episode Shit, there. I better be dreaming. Uh, I think that's like the perfect place to end it for now. To get like the 50 minute mark, the same as the first episode. Um, but yeah, my current theory is that the spirit of the guy who killed the girl when he heard Z-U-G or whatever it was, um, he was possessed again to actually kill her. And maybe that's going to like come out in the story. Um, but who knows, we'll have to see. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed what you've seen today. So if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'm trying to reach 50 subscribers to do streams. Um, I've got a lot of streamers in mind, so 
you want to see what they are, maybe hit that subscribe button to help me out. But I will see you in the next video that I do. Goodbye!